Okay, we're, we're back with Zach, our trusty or trusted uh, camera person. And again, we're going to continue with the uh, nerve impulses and uh, try to explain them again in, in terms of ion exchange. And uh, what we can see again is sodium channels in and potassium channels out. Now, you need channels again because the membrane is loaded with cholesterol and cholesterol is good for you. And the reason for that is, uh, well, for example, trees and other plants have very little cholesterol, but animals have a lot of cholesterol. There must be a reason for that. And the reason is, you don't often see trees walking down the block, unless after that strange media storm last night. But they don't think about things because there's no brain and there is no movement, must, there are no muscle cells. But animals have both of those things, and they have a lot of cholesterol for that reason. And the reason is that you prevent leakage of the, within the membrane of charged ions. And um, so cholesterol is good, and you, you have to understand that cholesterol is the basis for sex hormones. It's the basis of acetylcholine. It's the basis of aldosterone and uh, the basis of vitamin D. So there are many reasons and functions uh, of cholesterol and to have cholesterol, and therefore lowering your cholesterol might not exactly be a good idea. In fact, a lot of your cholesterol is located in the brain. You know? why, why is that? Yes, because you don't want leakage of ions, because then your mechanism of communication, meaning the depolarization, uh, will not work. So we can see here that sodium is flowing in because we have previously a flow of sodium ions in, so this is probably a, a sodium voltage gate. And then behind it we have potassium coming out, there's our ion exchange. And then we have the pump, the sodium-potassium pump to repolarize the membrane. And the purpose of this, again, is to depolarize the membrane because at the end of the membrane, we don't have, in, and the swelling of the end of the nerve, which used to be called the bouton, or the, the bouton, uh, they have, that's where you have the neurotransmitters. And at the end of the bouton, you have not sodium voltage gates, but you have, you have calcium voltage gates. And the calcium is used to allow the dumping of the neurotransmitter. And there are different ideas as to how that works. But again, we're seeing that calcium is the functional atom here. So the depolarization is to get the calcium in so that you can dump your neurotransmitter. And um, <coughs> so at the end of the nerve, you have not a sodium potassium pump, but again, you have a calcium magnesium pump. Again, you need a plus two in, plus two out. And that's how it works. The other, and the last thing about this is, and I may be wrong because I'm wrong a lot. My wife tells me this all the time, even though I am the doctor, that you see that the potassium gates, if this is correct, comes out from behind the sodium voltage gates, which means that if I depolarize this and I repolarize with, with potassium, but there's no in channels for potassium, then we have to have one-way nerve transmission because this way is blocked by the by the potassium until the pump 